What's up guys, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. Today we have uh, Miss Spidey, who is just, you know, usually she <laughs> doesn't do anything during my videos, but today we have the joy of her actually having an active moment. And the jealous cat is also right off to the side where Spidey's heading towards. Um, so don't worry, the jealous cat is being watched closely. Um, and she is in her little princess tent and Spidey's in her enclosure, so. Despite being able to look at each other, they will not cross paths. Um, but yeah, keep an eye on Spidey because she's very active today for some reason. Usually this does not happen during my videos. Anyway, today we are gonna talk about spider intelligence because I found an awesome article. You know that I absolutely love to uh, talk about the possibility of spider intelligence, um, spider behavior, what does it mean? It is so fascinating to me and it's such a gap in our scientific knowledge. And so I like to spread information as I find it. So I found an article about spiders possibly having self-awareness and being able to plan to ward off predators. And I certainly do think that that signifies some sort of intelligence because that's like a higher level thinking process. And as far as we know, spiders don't really have brains like that or the ability to do that. But reading this article, I find that maybe that could be challenged. So this was in particular, not tarantulas, but it was the uh, cyclosa spider, which is a cyclosa trash line orb weaver spider. Um, and I guess in my research, I'm noticing that intelligence does vary because I think like jumping spiders are considered the smartest uh, spider, but there are other ones too. Um, I don't know if I'm saying cyclosa correctly, but what I'm talking about is this particular orb weaver spider. What was discovered was that people saw a humongous spider in a web. Um, they went to investigate it and it actually turned out that a spider had actually made a decoy of a huge spider. And this decoy was made out of like insect carcasses, other debris, probably like feathers, leaves, you know, pieces of trash or, or like whatever that spider could find, much like how birds would create a nest out of a bunch of things, strings, whatever. Um, but yeah, like this spider, this orb weaver had actually made a big spider in their web out of all of these little remnants and organize it in a way to make it look like a huge spider to ward off predators. And here's something interesting. I, I do not, I don't even know if we know why this happens, but there are over 200 species around the world um, that are in this cyclosa orb weaver family. And many of this species actually puts debris in their web purposely. But as far as we know, only two species make the actual spider decoy. One of those is in the Peruvian Amazon, and one of them is in the Philippines. They are nowhere near each other, so that is quite interesting. So the way that I think that this involves intelligence, and I think it's obvious, but the ability to plan, right? So like, this is a new level of spatial awareness when you're talking about planning. Think about it, spiders, as far as we know, besides jumping spiders, they can't really see very well, or it's like highly compromised. And they're doing this on a web. It's not like it's like a ground level art project. This is like they're doing it vertically on a web. So the space is way different. And they also have to know how to arrange multiple parts, like these debris being different sizes, different shapes, um, having to coordinate where these get placed on the web because the web isn't just like a flat surface. It has holes in it. It only has, the strings are only in certain places. So that, I don't even know if I would be able to do that if I was given a web as a human with all of my brain. Um, so, self-awareness too right so like part of this planning is self-awareness like i guess this means that spiders are aware that they are creatures that have many limbs right and maybe they even know what they look like despite never having a mirror <laughs> never being able to really see anything um i think that is fascinating how do they do it i don't know but I think that when we look at articles like this, we have to just recognize and acknowledge that these creatures are a lot smarter than we think they are. 
um, definitely planning, definitely self-awareness. They have some other type of intelligence that we don't have. And, you know, maybe it's completely instinctual, that is possible. But um, I think that this is really wild. And I'm definitely going to link the article below because I think you all should read it. I think everyone should be aware of this. And I hope that it really keeps encouraging more spider research. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this. Did you know this? I didn't know this. And I thought it was really, uh, really, really interesting. And Spidey is being such a sweetheart. I hope you enjoy watching her run around her tank. And we'll see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Take care. Bye-bye.